Have you had any other vaccine in the last two weeks? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tested positive for COVID? Mm -hmm. But they could have actually given you a day on the flight here. Mm -hmm. Can I have ID, please? Okay, Jinx. So funny story. I'm actually an accountant, <laughs> and I do the finances for Somos. But when this popped up, I volunteered. I come from an emergency department. I work in the emergency department. I do overnights. Um, I do my my regular 12-hour shifts. Then I come over here to help out. But to sit at home and not help was not an option for me. Now the, we call the vaccine of hope. It's in the arms already. <laughs> Very nice. Come in, have a cup of coffee, um, come to my station. I grab all my supplies. I see what I'm going to need, see what kind of day I'm going to have. Uh, I set up. I usually uh, set up for about 100 people to start my day. It takes me about maybe an hour, an hour and a half to get through 100 people. Are you guys going to be scheduling the appointment or are you going to do a show up with the vaccination card that we're going to be following? So I'm making sure that there's always someone in a seat, always someone getting vaccinated, always someone being getting the attention that they need in order to get them in, vaccinated and out. So as of right now, I see I sent two of my tents on breaks and I see I sent another two people on break. So usually what I do is I'll hop in and I'll do administration. I'll do some of the registration to help the vaccinators, especially if we have a line or if we have people that wait, people waiting. The last thing you can do is get the vaccine, but I reassure every patient that, you know, it's going to be OK. I make sure I answer every question. Go for Joanne. If anything happens, they usually contact us by walking by walking. So that's why it's always in your hand. <laughs> do you need me back inside? So it's really dedication, you know. We we're doing this because we love it and because we see the need, and we want to be in this fight to get everyone back out and enjoy their life. It's amazing to see now, Yankee Stadium, the Aqueduct Racetrack, all these churches, schools, everywhere, doing testing and vaccination at the same time. It's a dream come true for us physicians. Good. I can go. We don't want people being, be, you know, discouraged. We want people to come here, take photos. Hey, you know, post it on Instagram. I got vaccinated. We want, we want all of that. And here, I think, is a perfect place. We see almost 1,500 people a day. And I think, especially in a community that was hit really hard, it's going to be great. I, I just cannot wait until we get everyone vaccinated. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, nothing could get you more better to see somebody from 90 years old who tell you, I'm being 11 months without getting out of my house. For the first time I came out just to get a vaccine, and you see their faces. <laughs> we see our relatives in the faces that come through the door. When I see someone who's in their 80s, I see my mother. I can remember one day there was this lady, she was 91 years old. And just, ha just knowing that she came from her house, and then she came here and she was vaccinated. I can't describe the emotions. Thank you so much. Are you well? Are you well? I do it from the heart. I have a beautiful daughter, and I want her to grow up and, you know, be in a nice environment where we're all safe and she can come out and play with no mask. That's the goal, right? Thank you.